Sierra Leone's vice president says the state will provide economic assi assistance to the families of the 100 people killed on Friday when a fuel tanker exploded in the capital, Freetown. The city's hospitals have been overwhelmed by the number of people injured. Well, we can go now live to the BBC's correspondent, Umaru Fafana. Uh, Umaru, uh, tell us more about how Freetown, how people are coping there. Hi there. Well, it's a Sunday. It's quite quiet. I'm told that in several churches across the country today, some priests offered prayers for those who died in the inferno of Friday night. Uh, but the president himself, who was away while this thing happened, has returned home and he has been crisscrossing the city. He went to the main hospital at Connaught, which is holding the majority of the injured, and he's been to the military hospital and he's on his way to other areas. I'm told by his um, aides that he's also been to the accident scene where he's been able to meet some of the families of those who died in that inferno. But otherwise, people are still grieving here and many questions are being asked. Yeah, you were telling us yesterday that, that families are still trying to identify bodies. They, they really don't know what to do or where to go. They don't know what to do. I've just come from the central mortuary, which is holding the bodies. They've now been put into body bags, and there are still some family members waiting outside the mortuary there. But, I mean, the bodies have started decomposing already, and we do not know what's going to happen and when, because most of the family members there could not identify their loved ones because of the nature or the, the, the conditions in which the bodies are. So we don't know whether they're going to be buried in a mass way. I've spoken to government officials who have not said anything about that. I've only been told in the last uh, few minutes by the director of communications at the president's office that the president will address the nation tonight and he will lay those specific plans on, on, on the ground as to what will happen to those corpses. But it has to be said that the bodies are decomposing very fast. I spoke to the mayor of Freetown yesterday and she said, look, road safety is obviously an issue. There have been incidents before, haven't there, of, of tankers, uh, you know, coming off the road and, and people trying to get petrol. Well, yes, there have been uh, such incidents uh, in the recent past, but in the case of this one, it seems as if the tanker was not necessarily at fault. The tanker was making a U-turn, apparently to offload its content at a gas station, while a truck rammed into the tanker, and that is common here. There are a lot of trucks on the roads of Sierra Leone which have no business being on the roads. They are simply just not roadworthy. And questions have been asked as to how they get their, their, mo their annual renewal licenses for them to stay on the road. So, so many questions will have to be asked and so many answers will have to be demanded because the road accidents, uh, the numbers are really increasing and uh, there virtually is no investigation into road accidents in this country as much as people want them to happen. Amaro Fafana, thanks for being with us live from Freetown.